All right, so this issue applies to pretty much every Ford out there that's about 10 years old or newer. These things get stuck in here and you turn it and it's snug and then all of a sudden you hear a crack and that's what you see. The little tings break off in here. So basically, uh, basically what I've been doing here is um, you see these little ridges in here? Just been kind of getting a pair of pliers in here. This is what I'm trying first. See, it's just slowly turning out little by little. Just trying to uh, come up with ideas to help you out here so that you don't have to buy a new bottle and a cap. <clears throat> Alright, I believe I've got a good bite on it now. <clears throat> See, just little by little, and just muscle it out like that. A little something else that'll probably help you here, uh, just penetrating oil. Do be mindful that's making it difficult to grip this now, so you may want to just blow out the area you're going to be gripping on, but leave it down the sides where the seal is, because the seal is probably stuck and that's what caused it to bro break. Another thing I'm trying here is kind of getting the cap back on there, pushing down really hard and rotating. Okay, that seems to have turned it a little bit, but it's not giving me much, uh, I'm not having much luck after a little bit of a turn there. I'm going to try a couple more things here, but there's always one more option, and that is to, I would pull the hoses off of it, and just kind of carefully, don't damage the housing here, but you can kind of break a nudge into this and hit it with a hammer and screwdriver. You know, just kind of hammer a divot into it so that you can kind of force it out with a screwdriver and hammer it counterclockwise out but uh i'm going to save that as a last resort the reason i recommended the, uh, taking the hoses off is just in case any fragments fall down and you can't get them that way it won't get down into the cooling system now if you have a focus or a c max or a, maybe a transit connector or a escape you might as well replace the degas bottle and the cap anyway because they're very issue prone they crack but uh if you have before and you don't want to spend the money right now, or if you've got a 3.5 EcoBoost or something that doesn't uh, really have many issues with the degas bottle, please continue watching. With a uh, hammer and a flathead screwdriver, I am carefully hammering counterclockwise, and I'm actually already using a divot that was in there already. You see that? So pretty much I'm, uh, with a screwdriver, I'm holding it right there and hammering it, and it's actually rotating. Okay, that's not doing anything anymore. It's stuck again. So let me think of something else, okay? One second. Back to the needle nose pliers. If you have a drill with a bit that's the similar size as the end of your pliers, you can drill a hole. Like, let me show you. Drill two holes right about here where the pliers are going to go down. That way it'll stay in. The pliers will kind of lock into the holes and then you can rotate it out. That's what I'm going to recommend here. Don't drill the degas bottle. Be very careful. See the holes right in the center of the camera? There's one. Kind of goes down in there. Then there's the other one. You can see. Oh, yeah. That makes a world of difference for these pliers here. I'm going to be able to get it out now. Oh, yeah. Do this, guys. Drill holes. Just be super careful not to drill the DS bottle because it's very close to the edge there. Oh, still stuck. There we go. That's going to come out now. All right. Okay, got it kind of backed out as far as it'll go now, and it's just spinning. I'm going to have to figure something else out now. Just kind of pried up the center portion there. Be very careful. There's a spring right there that fell out. Make sure you look down inside the bottle and nothing landed inside. Otherwise, it can damage the water pump or clog up the cooling system. Get anything like that out, and you may even consider disconnecting all the hoses off of the uh, degas bottle before you do this just so no debris falls into the cooling system and then flush out the bottle really well when you're done with the garden hose or running water i right, got that little spring out there with a magnet got my pliers bit into one of the holes on the side there you see and i'm just kind of beating on it this way there you go see once again make sure no debris falls down into the bottle and I just kind of pried up with my screwdriver to get that last little bit out of the bottom. And it looks like I have a little piece of debris to get out of there. But other than that, it looks like it's a success. Check around here. Make sure there's no damage from where you're drilling. 
up in here too. Everything looks okay to me. Clean it out and put your new cap on. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Have a great day and good luck to you.